Hello, as you can see that uh, I am about to set up my iPhone for iOS 5. Before I get this video started, I'd like to let you know about how I got it. My friend Matt from Tech Teenager TV went ahead and activated my UDID. He's hosting a giveaway where he's allowing 10 people to also get registered and get the iOS 5 beta for themselves. So make sure to uh, click the link in the description to head over to his website and enter the giveaway. His channel should be in the description as well. Let's continue with the video. And to set up your new iDevice uh, with iOS 5, all you need to do is just slide to slide to set up. You don't need to sync it with your computer anymore. And it will give you this welcome screen with a bunch of languages, English, Spanish, and there's some more. I'm going to go with English. Here you could select your country or region. Wi-Fi network setup. After you set up your Wi-Fi, it gives you three options. You could set your device as a new iPhone or iPod or iPad. You could restore from the iCloud backup or restore from iTunes. In this case, since this is my first time using iOS 5, I'm going to click restore from iTunes because I have no iCloud backup available to sync all my things. So I'll come back after that's done. And after I plugged into iTunes and clicked the backup I want to restore from, it is restoring. After the restore is complete, your iPhone will restart automatically. You will get this little progress bar. Just let it complete all the way. After that, your phone will come back to the screen. Just slide. And you have your sign-ins for your Apple IDs, etc. After you sign in, let's see. By the way, my iPhone is plugged in, and in the corner you see it is syncing while we're setting up my iPhone. And it is default set to on. Here's your Find My iPhone feature. I'm going to keep that on also. And for diagnostics, I'm going to click Automatically Send. And it says your iPhone is now set up. And as you can see, here's the home screen of iOS 5. The music is up. All my apps are loading in their same positions as I had it on my previous firmware. And as, that, as you can see, I could use my phone even though my phone is syncing with iTunes through a cable. That concludes how to install iOS 5 on your device. When the actual iOS 5 comes to a public release, this will be a very simu similar, if not identical, process for everybody else. Subscribe and keep on checking back for more videos on iOS 5. And uh, thanks for watching.